What's going on guys? Hunter here with Goodman Lawn Care. It's late in the afternoon. It's about, I don't know what time it is. It's about 6.25, about supper time. But I'll eat supper when I get through. Today we're about to trim some limbs down the driveway here. Uh, Dad's getting the contraption set up over there. You might have seen us use this uh, contraption here before. It's uh, kind of like our bucket truck, but bucket tractor in a way. So uh, what it is, it's a farm uh, chemical uh, bucket that farmers keep chemicals in and everything. And uh, we cut the top out of it and made a uh, like a bucket. You can actually stand in and uh, trim limbs and stuff with. We trimmed hedges. I'll put the link uh, down in the description of that. Uh, we trimmed a huge hedgerow with it and uh, we're pretty good. So now we're about to trim these limbs down the driveway. And I'm going to a tent to uh, get this camera set up at an angle to where you can see me uh, trimming all the limbs and everything. So we'll see. So here it is. Dad's getting it all strapped on here. This is the uh, forks on the tractor here and they're just up under there. And we're securing it with a uh, just a toe strap and everything, just strapping on real good, make sure we got it. And we're gonna be doing things a little different today. Uh, normally, I, I don't ever, I've never trimmed limbs out of the bucket before, uh, but I don't know what I'd use. But I guess I'd probably use a uh, chainsaw or something. But and today we're gonna be doing stuff a little bit different. We got the Bauer uh, 10 inch electric chainsaw, or no, nah, battery powered chainsaw. I always say electric. I don't know why. Uh, but this is obviously a battery powered chainsaw um i've got a full battery here and then a uh, about a full battery on there too so and i got it all filled up with bar and chain oil and uh to use it to turn it on you just press in this button and and it works pretty good so uh, about to get me some gloves out of here that's the great thing about this truck is i've got everything organized i know where it is uh, got my gloves right here got my hard hat right here not going to use the uh, hard hat with the earmuffs and everything because it's an electric chainsaw don't need to do that and uh, I'm actually going to use these gloves right here They're a little bit better so I use my old John Deere neon gloves there work pretty good and get knocked out like that so I got all the gear here about to get everything set up about to get the camera set up and uh we got a lot of a lot of limbs to trim so maybe we can get it done for dark and uh i'm gonna get the camera set up and let's see it do it also got the goodman lawn care logo on the side of the f-350 now it's official looking pretty good and i got one on this side too i don't have my phone number on here yet but i'm working on that and I'm actually gonna get my Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube logo right there too. And uh, just to kind of finish it out and everything, uh, I'll probably eventually get that right there on the back door. So, Dad's waiting on me here. About to go ahead and get started and we get it done. Right there. Yeah. 
right guys, so we've got half the limbs trimmed. You can see them down behind me there. Got that on the tractor. And I am in the bucket. And I got my saw down there. The old power saw is doing pretty good. Uh, I think I've only used about uh, one bubble, one charge bubble. See on the on the uh, battery, they have three bubbles on there, and uh, we barely even use half the half the battery life on this thing. We've got a lot of limbs, so uh, so far pretty impressed with the battery life on it. Uh, one thing I don't like about it so far is the cutting. I mean, it doesn't do good on very small limbs. It just kind of snags them and uh, just kind of bounces around a little bit. I don't really like that, uh, but I think that's more the chain than it is the saw. Uh, so overall, I'm liking it pretty good. Uh, we're gonna finish up these limbs right here. See, got all those, and we've cut all those all the way down to the road on one battery, and the battery is not even empty yet. So, doing pretty good. Uh, we're gonna try to finish this up and uh, hopefully get some supper here in a little bit because I'm, I'm about hungry. So, we're gonna finish this up. We got everything trimmed up pretty good. I got Dad with the uh, old bower there, and uh, he is trimming some of these low limbs that really wasn't necessary to get the tractor with uh, so we're trimming them up and uh, I'm just gonna let you watch him do this and you can get a better view of the saw and how it works and everything it's pretty light too isn't it yeah what's going on guys Hunter here with Goodman Lawn Care hope you enjoyed that video there of us trimming the limbs it actually turned out pretty good. It really wasn't what I had planned today. That's why I'm kind of late getting the video out. Uh, I was trying to edit some of the dozer stuff last night and didn't get done with it. And then uh, I had this one almost ready. So I just kind of tossed it together, but it turned out pretty good. Uh, and so real, real glad about that. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll try to get the dozer stuff out next week. Maybe I'll go back out there this weekend and do some more work and film a little more to get it to go, go with it and everything. And, uh, but I'm gonna show you that Bauer chainsaw real quick. Uh, before I show it to you though, I did change out the chain on it. I changed it to an Oregon chain. I got online, did a lot of research on it. A lot of people were having the same problem I was with the chain. Uh, it was just kind of grabbing, just kind of snagging and kind of not really kicking back. It was just kind of grabbing. It wasn't really cutting. And uh, I put an Oregon uh, chain on there instead of the one that came with the Bauer. And it runs a little bit better. It's still grabbing a little bit, but it's running a lot better than what the one on the Bauer was. Uh, the, the one that came with it was and so uh, I did that changed it out and that does help and uh, I will do a review on this tool uh, Later on down the road. I hadn't done I hadn't really uh, Used it enough to like, you know, do a full out review on it and tell you about it and everything uh, So I will do that But I'm gonna run in there and get the Bauer tool real quick and I'll put it, put it right here on the dump trailer And uh, I'll show you a little bit about it. All right, so this is the Bauer battery powered I think it's a 20 volt. Yeah, it's 20 volt 10 inch chainsaw and uh see so there's where you put your bar and channel about halfway full um these are three amp batteries i have two of them all this together ran about 180 i think i think the uh i think these are about 45 dollars a piece without tax and then this runs about 80 dollars without tax and uh, so I'm not sure about the math on that, but I'm sure that's somewhere around 180 um, on all that and everything. So um, that's what I paid for it. So far, so good. Like I said, I hadn't used it enough to do a full out review on it, uh, but I can tell you a little bit about it. It weighs about seven pounds uh, with the battery and all in it. Uh, so it's kind of kind of on the. I don't know if that's heavy or light, but to me that's that's not too bad because um, my 550 uh xp in there weighs about uh, i think 16 pounds and everything uh so this is about half that so i'm real happy about that um now could you go cut something you know just ginormous with that you know i have cut uh some stuff with it um you know stuff like this it'll cut through it will even cut through uh something like this right here i mean this is a pretty pretty good size log about a about a six, seven inch log right there. And it'll, it'll cut something like that, but it, I'm not saying that it's gonna cut it perfect. And then it's gonna, you know, steady cut through it. You'll have to start and stop it, start and stop it, but it will cut through it. And, uh, you know, cutting these little limbs off, I cut all these little limbs right here off these logs. 
uh, with it and everything and it did pretty good and um so and i actually tried to bore with it just a little bit just to see what it would do and uh it's not a good bore and saw i would don't recommend trying to bore anything with it and uh but as far as you know cutting up i got a lot of firewood over here this ain't even all of it either this is just what i have at my house um i got a bunch over at mr tim's house or cotton top three bunch over there and uh so but anyway this little saw right here is perfect i mean absolutely perfect for trimming limbs like that right there like we did down the driveway and everything and you know just cutting a few limbs here and there and uh, maybe trim some stuff off some logs like that and maybe cutting a few logs you know like these over here these small ones um works really great for that and uh, like i said it weighs seven pounds so it's not too heavy won't wear you out that bad uh, right here is how you um get the chain on and bar off there take that cover off so it's a 10 inch low kick back shows you how to put the chain on there if you don't know that you probably shouldn't be using a chainsaw anyway um but i want to screw this right here and show you real quick it's pretty dirty i really need to clean it filthy actually but that's that so it's just a little screw it goes right in that hole and then it tighten it back on just like that so real simple there uh, i didn't show it in the video but actually when i was up in the bucket the, the chain came off once and uh i undid it put the chain back on it and i was ready to rock and roll again i mean you know five minutes or less really less than that about about one or two minutes i mean it really wasn't long at all it just took me a minute to do it in the bucket because everything kind of slippery uh but i got it so real easy uh to you know change out the bar and chain there like i said i did upgrade to an organ chain uh so it runs a little bit better but not still not perfect um i think it's not running perfect just because i mean let's be honest it's a cheap saw it's not really something you're going to go whole spend a whole lot of money on and you're not really going to expect it uh, to be that great uh, but as far as i'm gonna tell you as far as trimming limbs and stuff like that like we did down the driveway i mean it worked perfect so no complaints there uh, i really don't have anything negative to say about the saw i mean it does everything i need it to do and you know like i said i at time will tell i'll be able to tell you more about it later on and the more i use it uh, right now i just you know i hadn't used it long enough to really go in depth with a full uh review which really i don't know how you would really with this saw but um i guess you could but anyway and that's it that's pretty much about all i got for now a uh, good little saw highly recommended if you're just looking to you know trim a few limbs around your house and everything uh these batteries they do last a while i did tell you i got the three amps they're a little bit more expensive uh, but they do run really good on the saw and everything and uh, they'll last a while so and what I was mentioning while I was up in the bucket about the charge bubble, so that's how you, and when I when I cut all those limbs down our whole long driveway right there, I had only used about, about one and a half bubble. I mean, it was not much at all. I mean, like I hadn't used hardly any battery for what I considered a lot. You know, I mean, we cut a lot of limbs right there. So uh, that's about it, pretty good saw. I like it so far. Like I said, later on, I'll taste more about it if I can, you know, think of anything else. So, but that's about it. Whew. We have had a busy, busy, busy week this week. I mean, man, we've been busy. We mowed 12 yards. We mowed six on Monday, had kind of a slow day Monday. Mowed 12 Tuesday. No, we mowed 18 on Tuesday, my bad. 18 Tuesday, we mowed 12 Thursday. And then on Wednesday, we mowed I think eight or nine and then we went and did some um pulled some weeds and trimmed some crepe myrtles and stuff on wednesday and then today which is friday uh we mowed i don't know how many we mowed today probably about six or seven if i had to guess two two big ones uh they're about three acre, three acres each and they're sitting side by side so we mowed about two about six acres in about two hours uh we'd eaten everything we were out of there uh, so we rolled on pretty good on that one and then we mowed a couple other big, pretty big yards today too. So trimmed some hedges, did a little bit of everything today. So 
had a lot going on this week real busy week uh but man uh it's, it's kind of cooling down right now it's been in the 80s about all day uh we're expecting a good bit of rain coming in on on uh monday or tuesday i sound like a weatherman or something here i don't know no don't really know what i'm doing here but but anyways guys i'm not gonna give you any more weather, weather updates here uh i guess i'd make a pretty good weatherman but we'll just see uh next week next week uh we're gonna try to mow I think next week I'll have about 40 something on schedule. Maybe maybe 35 if I'm lucky, uh, but I think it's gonna be about 40, so pretty heavy week next week. Uh, I think we mowed about 40 this week. I mean, I got about 85 yards now, so we're mowing a good bit every week. And uh, so, like I said, calling for rain Monday and Tuesday, a lot of rain, got a hurricane coming up. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty interesting to see what all we get done next week, if anything. Uh, but we're going to try to try to knock it on out. So appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you enjoyed that little video. Like I said, I just tossed that video together today. Really didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I think it turned out pretty good. So let me know in the comments what you think about it and uh, what you think about the Bauer saw. If anybody has any um, experience with Bauer tools or anything from Harbor Freight, because that's where I got that at. Uh, let me know and uh, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you later. Always forget, but remember to like and subscribe if you want to. Appreciate it.